This tutorial is about images. How to locate, download, and get images up on your Moodle courses. And we want to do so in ways that comply both to copyright law and Emily Carr's license agreements with our electronic content distributors. We're going to get some images from the Art Store database from the library, and I'll show you two ways to deliver those images to your students through Moodle 2. So we'll go to databases and we'll locate the Art Store database. We'll connect directly. We'll need to enter the digital library and we'll need to log in. I'm already logged in here. So the first thing to do is locate some images. So let's look for pop art. An art store comes up with 422 results for pop art. And they're on 24 pages. So what we can do is select the ones we want and gather them into an image group. We can then take that image group and download the images or ArtStore lets us generate a PowerPoint presentation that we can then put on display in Moodle. So let's take some interesting images at random. We'll take three and we'll organize them into an image group. So I'll save the selected images to a new image group. I'll call that image group pop and I'll save. So now I have those three saved in my image group. Now let's find some Warhol. And here's 697 images for Warhol. We'll take the Brillo box. We'll take the self-portrait camouflage. And of course, we'll take the iconic Campbell soup cans. And I'll add those to my image group. And there it is in the recently opened image group. And we'll put it in pop. So we now have six images. Let's go to that image group and download them. We'll open the image group. It's under my work folder. And here it is here with the six images. Now I can download these images individually. Double click. And to download, look for the Download Image button. And what this button does is download both the image as a JPEG file and a data file, which contains the information you need for citation. So I'll click that, and I'll save it in a folder called POP. I'll move to the next one with this. and download. And I will continue until all six are downloaded. So I've downloaded all six images into a folder. But an even better solution is to export the image group to PowerPoint. And that generates a PowerPoint presentation that you can then link to from Moodle or put on display. And I'll show you how. and you submit and there it is and there's my PowerPoint presentation 
and you'll see that ArtStore generates citation material at the bottom here. Switching over to Moodle, I'll display those images in my sandbox module. So I'll add a page And now that I've gathered the images in my folder, I can simply collect them. I'll choose a file and upload a file. I'll change the size to fit on the page. And it's asking me to put in the image description, which I will do on the page. So here is the data file, and we will open in a web browser. And I can simply select the information. copy it, and paste. Save and display. And here it is. And I can continue on this page and add all the images. If you want to add a PowerPoint presentation, there are two ways to do that. We'll do the simplest way first. The easiest way to deliver this PowerPoint is to simply create a link to the file and allow the students to download the PowerPoint presentation. We'll add a file resource. and we'll simply select the file and upload it to Moodle. So when we return to Moodle we can see the link here. Students can click on this and download the PowerPoint presentation. And while this is the simplest method, it does require students to have the most recent version of PowerPoint on their computer. An alternative is to display the PowerPoint presentation directly on Moodle. It requires a bit of a workaround in that you have to create a Google Docs PowerPoint presentation. So what I'll do is open a new tab and go to my Google Docs account. I'll upload a file. There it is. My PowerPoint presentation. And upload. Now that it's been uploaded, I can click on it. And what I need to do now is publish it. I click the Share button and click Publish Embed. Click on medium size. You can determine how often it scrolls through. I'll give it 10 seconds and copy the HTML embed code. Now when I go back to my course, I can add a resource and create a page.
So I need to open the HTML source editor and paste in the embed code. Update and save. and the PowerPoint presentation is displayed. So there's two methods of taking legal images from ArtStore and displaying them on Moodle 2. Thank you.